Mm -hmm. Allow for jet just moving forward a little bit. DC-6 starting his takeoff run. Listen to this as he goes past. This is going to be good. Back to the old days of passenger transport. Right. Something like the DC 6 lumbering off the ground at Heathrow, flog its way across the Atlantic on horrible, horrible rubbish weather days, the height of luxury. The next one's taking off. Alpha Jet starting his takeoff run. Very different type of beast altogether. He's rotating, he's up. I think the P-39 is rolling there. That's one of the flying balls the just P30. moving forward to the takeoff position. It's whatever's up the light. Yeah, have to be clear. Mitchell starting its takeoff run now, Mitchell. the B-25. Alright. This is the aircraft that yeah. from the two left away. For those interested. So imagine this thing taking off in the deck of a carrier. Yeah. Same as in gear. The 38 Lightning starting his takeoff run. Hmm? Likewise. And the Corsair yes, moving out just behind him. And there's the Ford F-44 Corsair. This DC-6 incidentally built in 1958. Come again. solo display of the DC-6. Just a joy to watch. Very different type of aircraft. We had the Alpha Jet aircraft for a few years displaying from Dassel Brege. Craft over the many years. one built in 1980, 
with a collaboration between French company Dassault and Breguet and also with Dornier. Feinbulls have got four of these aircraft in service. Five mark, which is around about 550 knots. Good aircraft handling as the DC-6 comes into land. Min radius turn, so just on what's called the tickle, just a few knots above the stall, keeping the tightest turn possible inside the arena. Max performance, mid radius turn. Leaving smoke rings behind. That's neat. Big steep wing over. Totally, wing over on the way up to change the wing to the A axis. In front of you, um, but it'd be down in the southwest. Ő nem a három méteres leszálló. De elég gyorsan lelassul. Ez úgy egyébként. És nem, ő a Doolittle Raiders. And it's a Pearl Harbor film vegan on the a field that girl. Followed by the P-38 Lightning and the Corsair. Switching to P-38 for the front of the line. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. When you look at the P-38 Lightning head on, you'll see absolute minimum drag. It's a very fast aircraft. Actually, so was the uh, English Electric Lightning head-on. All you had really was engines in the game with the P-38 Lightning. Same sort of thing. The bulk is for the pilot and the engines and nothing else. Nothing to slow it down, giving it maximum performance when you see it come in. B-25 Metro is leading around. Then the Corsair with the canted wings behind. The Corsair, of course, being able to... Uh, kind of close up its wings for carry ops. Mitchell manufactured in 1945 in Kansas. Mm -hmm. That's B 25 comes into land. Lightning constructed in 1944. Really, the American response to the German Air Force, the ME 109, effectively the key word in deployment. Radical design at the time, only two, well, two engines, when I say only two engines, two engines, and just one seat in the cockpit. It was very, very popular indeed. Also, went into a lot of sporting and racing after the war. As you can see, the agility and the speed of it, the Mitchell from Red Bull coming into land, the Corsair coming in behind. Lost sight of the lightning, it's got to be floating around somewhere. Corsair touching down. Lightning now coming into land from our left, the Laffin's plane end. There she is. Maximum speed, something like 400 knots. Just 
no form drag cut down to the bare minimum. Two Allison engines, around about 7,900 horsepower per engine, built by Lockheed. Not many left around, I think about five or six examples left flying around the world. But a highly polished performance by the Red Bull collection.